Hello and greetings again for our fifth story of the holidays. Today we switch things up and head back to 90s TV and check in with Timmy Turner and the Fairly Odd Parents Cosmo and Wanda. This time Timmy decides he wants Christmas Day to be every day, but much to his chagrin, not everyone in town likes this idea as much as him in this story called Christmas Every Day. And as always, here we have only the finest quality children's stories read by the finest quality narrator. Just kidding, but the stories are fantastic and hopefully you will enjoy these renditions. Merry Christmas, Timmy, Mrs. Turner said. We're ho ho home, Mr. Turner added. It was Christmas Eve in Dimsdale, and Timmy was totally psyched. Vicky had been sent home, and tomorrow was all about presents and spending the day with his parents. That night, Timmy could barely sleep. Finally, the moment came. As the sun peeked over the horizon, Timmy yelled, It's Christmas! It's Christmas! He ran into his parents' room. Come on, he said. Let's go see what Santa brought. Timmy took a flying leap into the sea of toys piled high in the living room. I wish every day could be Christmas, he yelled. Cosmo and Wanda looked nervously at each other. He said, I wish said Cosmo. I know, Wanda said. I just wish he hadn't. And with a wave of their wands, Timmy's ultimate Christmas wish was granted. The next morning, Timmy ran into his parents' bedroom. Merry Christmas again! Mrs. Turner flipped over a calendar and saw it was indeed December 25th. They all ran to the living room where an all-new batch of toys covered the floor. See, Timmy said, Santa came again. It's Christmas again. And indeed it was Christmas again, and again, and again. But with each new Christmas day came more problems. The snow piled up, stores were closed, and still Santa kept coming. It's ho ho horrible, announced Chet, you betcha on the news. As the world falls apart at its seams, people everywhere are asking, who is responsible for this and how can we tear him limb from limb? I think the world has had enough Christmas for one year, Timmy told his fairy godparents. I wish it wasn't Christmas anymore. We can't do that, Timmy, said Wanda. We don't have enough power. What do you mean, said Timmy. Giving gifts to everyone in the world takes a lot of magic, Wanda continued. So every Christmas Eve, we fairies transfer most of our magic to the one man on earth who needs it the most, Santa Claus. I just wanted more toys and to spend more time with my mom and dad, Timmy said. But now everybody is so sick of Christmas, they even want to get rid of Santa. It was true. Even some of the other holidays had shown up. The Easter Bunny, Cupid, Baby New Year, and the April Fool. Your stupid wish means the rest of us don't get to deliver joy to the kids of the world ever again, the Easter Bunny said to Timmy. The other holidays were so mad, they were headed to the North Pole to banish Santa Claus forever. Timmy decided he needed to help Santa right away. Before he left, he sent out an urgent message over the internet. Santa's in trouble, and I'm off to the North Pole to help. If you see me, wish me luck. And help me. Don't just stand there and stare. Help me. Merry Christmas. Again, Tommy Turner. So with a little help from a high-speed snowmobile, Timmy set off on his Santa-saving mission. And everywhere he turned, there were kids ready to assist. When he ran out of gas in Montana, they were there to fill the tank. When he was starving in Quebec, they were there with buttered croissant. But by the time he got to the North Pole, the other holidays had already reached Santa. 
Leave him alone, Timmy yelled. It's not his fault. I'll never let you hurt Santa. How are you going to stop us, huh? said the Easter Bunny. You're just one little kid. But the Easter Bunny was wrong. Slowly, kids from around the world started peering over the hills. Wow, said Timmy. It's every web-enabled kid in the world. He turned to the other holidays. We love you too, just not as much. I mean, Santa brings us toys, and Christmas brings our families together. Then Timmy realized something. He turned to all the kids. On Christmas Day, Santa grants our wishes, whatever they may be. But if every kid in the world wished for it to be the day after Christmas, then that's what Santa would have to bring us. December 26. Quick, everyone, write Santa a letter. Tell him you wish it was the day after Christmas. When Timmy woke up the next day, it was December 26, and everything was back to normal. We're proud of you, Timmy, said Wanda. Merry Christmas to all, and to all, one Christmas per year, finished Timmy.